everybody. What is up? Um, I wanted to just give a quick video update about what's going on with the Barones and uh, kind of w- what's progressed and, and, and what the Lord's doing and, you know, what our future looks like and all that good stuff. Um, you know, I've had several people ask. And so I just wanted to do this uh, quick update um, just to let ev- fill everybody in on what's going on and, and how to stay connected with this. So um, and, and, and towards the end of 2019 um, and even before that, you know, Lucy and I had been praying about what our next was. And so, um, you know, we, we were seeking the Lord and just praying and, and diligently praying um, and, you know, asking uh, asking God, what was our next supposed to look like? And and uh, and so we 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 began to seek out um, people who were who were uh, for our lives and, you know, asking people and and just kind of saying, hey, here's what we're sensing. Here's what we're seeing. Here's what we're hearing from the Lord. You know, what do you think? Um, and so, you know, as we progressed, as we as we prayed, as we did all those things, you know, we finally came to a point where God uh, God really made it very clear to us that it was time for us to transition out of being on staff um, at Christian City Fellowship and uh, moving up to, to Denton, Texas. Uh, now, uh, when we made that shift in that decision, um, you know, it was very difficult. I think all of us know transition is hard. Um, and then transition in the midst of a pandemic um, adds a, a, a new spice uh, to the dynamic. Uh, but all of that to say this, that, you know, um, being on staff at Christian City for 10 years, um, almost 11, it was fantastic, phenomenal. Um, so honored to have been a part of what God was doing there and, um, you know, still pray and believe for big things there at Christian City Fellowship in Sealy. Um uh, with pastors Rusty and Pastor Ann, um, and and so with that, we felt the Lord say, "Hey, Mingo, it's time for you guys to transition out, and it's time for you guys um, to 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 build." And I said, "Okay, what does that mean? What do you mean by build?" Um, and so immediately, you know, you go to all these practical things, but the reality of it was, God first wants wanted to start building on the inside of me personally. Um, and so, you know, some of the ways that he's done that is, uh, you know, just shifting my priorities in my life. So whereas before, you know, being on staff at a church, any pastor will tell you, um, is very taxing, um, very time consuming, um, and very, very much, uh, you know, it's a, it's a calling and it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic gift and a fantastic calling, um, but the things that were suffering at home were on me. So, you know, my family, my marriage, things like that. And so these last six months have, man, they've just been a, br- a, a, a breath of fresh air for me. Um, I've seen my kids more um, since, you know, since uh, since we, we made the transition. I've been able to um, be a husband more. Uh, and I've been able to be a friend more. I mean, I it, there's things that, that I was not able to be in a specific capacity, not only because of um, the, the title that, that we held, but also just because of time. Um, you know, I was doing that and I was doing some other side stuff. And, and, and so it just got really, really busy and really, really cluttered. And so um, when we made this shift, when we made the transition, one of the things that we wanted to prioritize was family first. And secondly, was our time um, to be able to give ourselves more time to do some of the things that we know we're supposed to be doing. So specifically like writing music, you know, releasing music. Um, you know, I've written more songs in the last six months than I probably wrote in the last four years. Uh, so, so it's just been awesome. It's been incredible to be able to have the freedom and the, 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 the ability to do that. Um, there's a ton of sacrifices that have come with that. Um, however, uh, we have just 100% put our trust and our faith in God and there's been nothing, uh, nothing better than that. And so, uh, you know, just some of the things that we're currently doing right now is, you know, we work at a social media marketing firm in Dallas, um, which is really cool. Uh, Lucy works Monday through Thursday. I work uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So, you know, I've got four days out of the week that I'm able to focus on other things, um, you know, like making this video, um, working on stuff for the Ben Jam, the Ben Jammin channel, which is Benjamin's 
um, official uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you know, for Mingo and Lucy, writing songs. I mean, doing things like that. Um, you know, other things that we're a part of. We're a part of um, a church here in Denton, uh, The Bridge, with pastors Dwayne and Chris White. Um, an amazing church. We love being connected with them. You know, we've known them for years, and so being able to come and connect with them on uh on a deeper level has just been amazing, you know, to be able to, um, to, to be a part of, uh, of, of what God is doing here in Denton, um, is uh, incredible. The city of Denton is phenomenal. Never really lived in a big city like this. Um, and so it's been different, uh, but man, I, we love it. It's, it's, it's incredible. You know, it, it's so big. Um, and, and God's doing great things here through the bridge. And so for us just to be able to help, you know, in whatever capacity that we can, you know, uh, we, we help them when we can. We also, on Saturdays, um, Lucy's parents, Paul and uh, Rhonda Coble, have a church um, in Cleburne that, uh, that, that we go and we, we help them on Saturdays during their, for their services on Saturdays. We're a part of that team. And, and so we'll, you know, we'll preach, we'll lead worship. We'll do different, different things like that with, with that group of people at Broken Church Cleburne. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and it's just, it's really cool, really fun to be able to spend time with, with Lucy's family. I mean, you know, for 10 years, it was very difficult for us to make it up here. Just, you know, again, being busy. And so um, when, now that we're here, we're able to actually connect with them. Uh, it was really funny because Lucy was able to be with her mom on a Mother's Day for the first time in like 10 years. So it was really, really cool. Um, just, just again, uh, just newness, freshness. And so it's really exciting. Um, you know, we go and we help friends all over the place. You know, we've got friends all over the place in North Texas that are at, you know, that, that every now and then need some help. And so we go and we help them on Sundays, you know, with worship and things like that. Um, friends in Oklahoma who ask us and all of these opportunities that we have because, you know, we're a little more available. Um, well, we're a lot more available to say yes to some of these things. And so, um, so it's really, really cool, really awesome, um, and re a, a lot of fun. Um, but all of that to say this is that even as Lucy and I move forward into this new season, there's still a lot of unknowns. Um, you know, God put a bunch of things on our hearts um, over the last decade of our marriage. We're going to be married for 10 years on Friday. Um, he's put a lot of things in our hearts um, over the last decade, and, you know, it, you know, ministries and, and, and albums and, you know, starting a church, things like that. I mean, so, so what we're doing right now is we're just listening. We're listening to the Lord and we're taking the things that God is, is putting on our hearts to those that, um, that, that listen first and foremost. And secondly, those that will, um, encourage. And thirdly, those that will, you know, really challenge us and encourage us to move. Uh, so, so it's, it's just really exciting, really exciting new season. Just wanted to, everybody to catch up with us, let you guys know what was going on, what was going down. Be sure to go check out Ben Jammin's official video or our official YouTube channel. He's got four videos up right now. Um, we're getting ready to release another one. He just wrote a song, uh, the other day, me and him got to write a song together. So catchy, so much fun. Um, and it's just really cool. So we're actually going to film the video, hopefully, uh, this month. And that means that we would have the video by the end of the month, um, early June. So be looking for that because um, we want that to blow up and be awesome. But listen, I just want you guys to know, thank you so much. And we're always so honored when people text us and say, hey, we're praying for you. Hey, you know, we're believing for you. We're encouraging you. Um, continue to do that, man, because we... Again, we need all the prayers and all the encouragement that is possible. And, you know, when you venture out into new and, and exciting territory, um, there's also hesitation, anxiety, and fear that can come alongside those things. But I do know that God is calling us to great things, and so that's what we're moving into. So listen, I love you. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, all those things, TikTok, to stay connected with me, Lucy. Um, they'll be here on the video description so that you can check it out. We love you. Have a great rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon.